Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Thank you for tuning in. A lot of my older Ronin tutorial videos are still getting a lot of views, so I wanted to update some of them. And we're going to start out by how do you send tokens to the Ronin network? How do you get Ron on Ronin? And how do you go about using it so you can buy your first Axie, participate in DeFi, or join or buy NFTs in many of the new games that are being onboarded to the Ronin network? We're going to try and do this while saving you the most amount of gas fees possible. If there's any other videos you want to see, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you're new here, please like and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. Let's jump into this. So first off, I'm actually going to assume that you already have a Ronin wallet. If you do not, I'll put a link down below in the description. There are a lot of tutorials you can use to set up your Ronin wallet from scratch if you've never done so, but the Ronin wallet is quite easy to use. And then we're going to talk about three different methods for moving tokens onto the Ronin network, getting Ron and using it. And basically, I will put timestamps down below so you can jump between the three methods to what you want to see. I'll talk about them briefly, and then I'll show you an example for each one. These three will be buying Ron with Fiat, withdrawing Ron from a central exchange, and then bridging from Ethereum network to the Ronin network. The official docs are here as well. I'll put a link to those down below if you want to just read the official tutorials from the Ronin team. I'm going to be doing all of these tutorials and examples on desktop, but most of these will work on mobile as well if you have the Ronin mobile app. I'll put a link to my original Ronin bridging network down below or somewhere on screen. So if you want to watch the older video as well, feel free to check that out. First of all, buying with Fiat with a currency that you might have in your bank. The first thing you need to be aware of is there are actually restrictions based on your country and on your bank. If I do this in Japan, for example, it will give me very limited options with what I can do to buy Ron with currency. There are two on-ramp partners for Ronin, Ramp and on Meta, and there's two methods of doing this with Fiat. You can do it directly in the wallet or you can go to purchase.roninchain.com. Let's look at an example here. So for buying Ron directly with Fiat, you can do this from your Ronin wallet. Simply go to deposit, on ramp, continue to selecting assets. Let's say you want to buy Ron directly on Ronin network. And then based on your country, it will give you your available providers. Like I said, there are two different ones. And because I'm in Japan, there are no available providers. But to show you a little bit better, I will switch to a VPN. I'm going to go ahead and connect to Hong Kong so you can get see this. Now, be aware you're going to need a credit card and an address from this country. So not anyone can just hop on a VPN and buy with currency. You're actually going to need to borrow a friend's address <laughs> or a credit card, etc., or find a way of getting one. So this isn't the best solution, but I am going to show this to you very quickly just so you can see what the process would look like if you're living in a country where they support this. So from there, go to your Ronin wallet. Once again, deposit, on-ramp, assets, Ron. And now, as you can see, Ramp is a currency provider. So you would go to Ramp, hit Next, Buy Now on Ramp, and it will take you here to their actual website where you can continue and buy the currency. You can go ahead and hit Done on here. That's fine. When you come here for the first time, it's actually going to show you this screen. You're going to type how much Ron you want to buy. So say I want to spend 50 US dollars, you would go proceed. It's going to ask you for your email address the first time you come here. I've already done this once is why it's skipping steps for me, but you're going to need to get your email, verify the code in your email. Then it's going to ask you how you want to pay. For most of you, it will be card. And then this is the step where if you actually live in this country, it should be very easy. But if you're using a VPN, you might get stuck where you need an address of that country. And then once you save the address, it'll get your credit card number. And it takes only a few minutes to send currency directly to your wallet. It will populate your wallet automatically because you came here from this menu, but you can verify that it's sending it to the correct wallet before you confirm by looking at your wallet address here. The second method of getting tokens owned to the Ronin chain will be withdrawing them from a central exchange or a CEX. The supported CEXs are Binance, Coinbase, OKX, Crypto.com, Gate.io, BitGet, Mexi, and Coins.ph. If you don't have any cryptocurrency already in a different chain, you will probably need to KYC to use some of these exchanges. If you already have other crypto assets and you just want to switch them over to Ron and withdraw them, 
then you could use something like Mexi where you can change small amounts without having to KYC. So I will show an example here using Mexi. Now we get to a central exchange. If like me, you live in a country where on-ramp for fiat does not work very well or is not available, then the next option would be to use a central exchange. As I mentioned before, there are a whole bunch, I can list them here, but I'm gonna show you roughly how you would do it with Mexi. First of all, you need to make sure you have Ron. So you're gonna to need to deposit some kind of cryptocurrency in here, whether it's ETH, Solana, whatever you have, stick it in here. I already have currency in my Mexi account here. So then what you need to do is see what can you actually swap for Ron. Usually it's gonna be Ron to USDT. So if you put Solana, for example, you may have to first go Solana to USDT and then USDT to Ron. Whatever the going rate for Ron is, buy the amount that you wanna send and then give it the transaction a few minutes to finish. I'm not gonna explain central exchanges to you. I, fi I think for most people should understand the market versus limit, simple terms. If you want a full video on central exchanges, let me know. Otherwise do a quick research if you're not familiar with central exchanges, but it shouldn't be too hard for you to buy this. And then what you can do is go to whatever central exchange you're using. There's almost always a wallet function up top where if you go to spot wallet, you can see your current balances. You can see some of the tokens I have in this wallet. And then you can go from withdraw right here, or you can go up to the top wallets and withdraw. From there, it's gonna ask you to select the currency that you want. In this case, we're gonna do Ron. The important part here is one, that you're on the Ronin network. You don't wanna to withdraw to anything else. It shouldn't let you choose other networks, but if you're on a different central exchange that doesn't automatically just choose the Ron network for you, make sure you're on the Ronin network. And then all you have to do is open your wallet, copy your address here, paste it down there, choose the amount of RON you want to withdraw. So if I was gonna do 50 RON, there will be a minimum amount and a fee, and there is nothing else you need. Once again, I would double check your wallet's correct. RONA network, you're doing the right amount. Submit your transaction, and then there will be some kind of verification depending on your account. So in this case, it's gonna ask me for an email code, and then it's gonna get a two-factor authentication. Once that's done, you hit submit, and it will take a few minutes to send the funds to your RONIN wallet. Once that's finished, you can open your wallet and your RON will be here. And the final method of getting assets onto the Ronin chain is going to be bridging from the Ethereum network and then swapping for RON or swapping for the token that you want. Since you can't bridge RON on Ethereum to RON on the Ronin network, you have to do something like bridge Ethereum for wrapped Ethereum and then swap that to RON on the Ronin network. It's quite easy to do. You can do this from the link in your wallet or you can go to app.roninchain.com and then select bridge from the left-hand side. RON cannot be bridged as I mentioned, so you'll need to pick a supported token and then swap to RON. Tokens like ETH, AXS, and USDC are all supported. And then once you have tokens on the Ronin network, you can swap directly on app.roninchain.com by going to Katana and then swap, or you can swap directly in your wallet. Let's look at an example of that here as well. So open your Ronin wallet and go to bridge, and this will take you directly to the bridge. You can also just go to app.roninchain.com and click bridge here, and then you need to connect both your wallets. So if you click the Ethereum here in the from section, it will ask you to connect MetaMask. I've connected it once before, but if you've never done so, it will pop open your MetaMask, ask you to confirm, allow it to read the transactions, and then you click proceed. I'm also gonna connect my Ronin wallet. Once again, you'll need to sign the transaction if it's the first time. I'm using the Ronin extension, and because I've connected once before, it automatically connects, but if it doesn't, you'll need to sign that transaction. Very simple. After that, you can choose what asset you wanna bridge. For most people, it's gonna be ETH, AXS, or USDC would be my guess, but there are a few other tokens you could bridge over if you wanted to, if you happen to, for some reason, have pixels or SLP on Ethereum mainnet, you could bridge that into Ronin, or maybe you wanted to go the reverse and bridge them out. We're not gonna talk about that right now. So in order to bridge it to Ethereum, I'm gonna do a very small amount and hopefully the gas is not gonna be more than I have in here because at the moment I only have $48 worth of ETH. No matter what token you're bridging over, don't forget Ethereum network, you need ETH for gas. Let's just go ahead and bridge a very small amount, 0.0001 ETH. In my wallet, you can see I already have a little bit of ETH, so this will increase this number slightly. Enter the recipient's address. You wanna enter the Ronin address that you're bridging from. You can go ahead and copy your address right here and paste it in, right? I'm sending to my own wallet, this one here. Confirm, 
Now that you have these two here, this is your MetaMask, this is your Ronin, this is from and to, very simple. You go ahead and click deposit. This is gonna pop up in your MetaMask and give you the estimated fee. In this case, it's $1.80. This will vary, obviously, depending on how busy the ETH network is. If this is some outrageous amount, I would just recommend waiting. Unless you're in a hurry, wait a little bit and see if the price goes down. Once again, this is gonna fluctuate even minute to minute. So confirm, and then it's just gonna give you an estimated time while your MetaMask does its thing. Once it's confirmed the transaction on MetaMask on the Ethereum network, you can go ahead and close this extension and your deposit will be in progress on the Ronin bridge. Once again, this takes a few minutes. Once this is finished, it'll tell you the deposit is complete. And now I have slightly more wrapped Ethereum than I had a moment ago. That gives you Ethereum on the Ronin network. If you want Ron specifically, you're gonna have to do a swap. So very easily you can swap here, Katana, swap, since your wallets are already connected. Or alternatively, you can swap directly in the app click this button and it will open up a tab very similar to this one here where you can choose, I actually want to swap my wrapped ETH for Ron. You're gonna have to connect your wallet if you're doing it over here. Wallet swap.skymavis.com, connect. Once again, you're already connected over here, but I wanna show you both methods. So once you're connected, you could swap however much you want. I will swap something small like 0.01 ETH um, how much did we bridge? We bridged 001, right? So let's just swap. And um, that's about two Ron, fine by me. So you're going to need to approve these. So approved wrapped ETH. This is going to cost you some gas. Ronin gives you three, five gas vouchers. So if this is your very first time using Ronin and you don't have the fee for gas, you can apply for your free vouchers, which will allow you to do this swap without having any RON. Another alternative is ask your friend to send you a little bit of RON to do the gas, but I would just apply for the free five vouchers and use them. And then go ahead and confirm. It's gonna take a minute to approve the tokens in your wallet. And then once that's done, you can go ahead and swap them. Once again, maybe just double check the amounts. Yep, sounds good to me. Swap, confirm the swap, and then you'll have to confirm it in your wallet. And this is the gas fee. If you don't have a free transaction, it's costing me, you know, less a 10th of a penny, basically, or a fifth of a penny. Swap is submitted and successful. Very fast, very cheap. Now you have Ron on the Ronin network that you can do with stake, add to LP pools, buy assets. If you want to know all the ways you can use Ron and assets on the network, let me know down in the comments. We'll make another video. Once again, thank you for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you all soon with another video.